Welcome to morning yoga. We're going to do a little uh, shoulder work today. So grab your strap, have that handy. And if you have your strap looped, just go ahead and undo the loop. And then you'll find your comfortable seat. Music is your choice today. I don't have my earbuds, so I'll just speak up and hopefully it'll work out. Embracing the moment here. And we'll just take a short abbreviated meditation. Do a little bit shorter class. You can either sit cross leg. The bugs have really been after me lately. Huge mosquito last night. Uh -huh. You can sit cross leg Sukhasana or sit up onto the blocks in your Vajrasana or Virasana, which I'll just show you if you're not sure what that is. You can always take the block on one of the higher settings, sit on the shins or the knees, and then have the block under your seat. So if you need it a lot higher, depending on range of motion for the knees, you can even bring a couple blocks together for a higher setting, like so. And you can even have a little tuck of the feet if you prefer that. I'm going to sit in the Sukhasana cross leg position. Yeah, and if you have your meditation cushion, you could also take that under for support. Palms face down, resting on the legs. And just calibrate to the moment using your breath. Two breaths here. Think about clearing the energy that's here on and around the yoga mat, your space. We'll take the thumbs together and index finger together, creating a little triangle. Rest that at your Shakti Center power center. And just breathe into this space. Allow the breath to come in and down towards the belly. And as you do that, long spine, the back body is rising up as you find that expansion across the front body. Take out the hands. And now you let the hands rest on the upper chest with the fingertips just resting under the collarbones. As you keep the diaphragmatic breath, the belly moving in, out, out, in. Can you also feel the rising of your chest here? Starting to invite that more full breath. Breath of awareness breath of presence. Breath of calm. Take out the hands once again. Now palms face up, resting your hands in your lap or on the legs. Focusing on this area between the ears and the shoulders. So the long spine and that lift through the center of your body. Allow the heart to lift, belly lift. And then shoulders will fall towards the earth as you find that space for the neck and an opening for your higher upper chakras, third eye chakra, 
crown of the head. Staying here with the hands, or if you'd like for the period of silence, option to take your hands onto your body, Anjali Mudra, or one hand heart, one hand belly. And we'll just take about a minute and then I'll call you back. Centering, slowing down, meeting yourself here. Now moving into a different hand mudra, you'll place the left palm up, right palm down, and then just let the fingers curl around each other. So it's as if you're holding your own hand here, sealing in a contract, a mantra, an intention. What are you ready to commit to here on the mat and maybe for the rest of the day? Have one you can try on. I will lead with love. Okay. Release the hands, move your blocks. We're coming to tabletop. If you need extra padding under the knees, you can double over the mat or grab your blanket. And then we're going to find the movement for the shoulder blade here. So it's not a cat cow, but we're finding that action of moving the shoulder blade, blade forward and back. And the belly stays lifted, arms stay straight. Make sure the hands are shoulder distance. So you don't want to have them too close together. Um, if you're on the live class, just make sure your hands are wide enough. And find that movement, lift the belly, drop your heart, press the earth away, inhale, exhale. I'm just showing what it looks like if you've never done it before. And stay straight, elbows stay straight. You can also play around with the direction that your elbow is facing. Yeah, maybe just try turning the hands out slightly if you're on the live call. Yeah, give your, because you want to give space for the movement. If your hands are too close and turned in, your the shoulder blade is not going to move back as much. So try it now. Is there a little more space there for the collarbone? Okay, a couple more here. Pause through the center, lift your belly, lift the back of the head, and then we're finding just a couple hip circles. See if you can actively press into the knuckles and the fingers. And so even when your weight is coming around, try to keep equal energy into the hands. Other direction with the hips. Can you find that lift for your belly? through the center, kick that right foot to the sky, cross it behind so you find those crossed legs, like eagle legs, draw the hips back, 
little bit of a hip stretch here. And you can even bring the hand as wide as the mat and find those tented fingertips, whatever feels best for you. You can even use the blocks under the hands. Inhale forward, slowly unwind the legs, other side. So kick the left foot up, cross it behind. Last breath here. Inhale forward, unwind the legs. We're gonna find happy baby. Option to use the block so that your arms are resting over the block. Forearms can rest and the hands just rip down towards the earth. Let your forehead rest on the earth. Stay there or option to start to walk the elbows forward on the blocks and take a reverse prayer. Slowly straighten the arms, come up off the blocks, move them off to the side. Come through tabletop, inhale, right arm towards the sky, roll up the wrist. Thread the needle three times, a little bit of a teaser. Inhale up, exhale, dive it under. Inhale up, dive it under, inhale up. And then now come into your shoulder stretch. Place that right shoulder on the earth. Right cheek on the earth if you're wearing glasses and you need to take them off, totally fine. If you want to test your balance, just stick one foot towards the back of the mat. If you want a deeper twist, you're walking that left hand above the head. Slowly walk the left hand back under the left shoulder. Inhale, bring that right hand back up to the sky. Exhale, tabletop. This time we're taking shoulder circles around the wrist. So it's a little bit of a reset here and you also lift the belly. So it's a reset for the spine. Activate the core, other direction with the shoulders. the center pause lift the belly find that plank quality if you want a high plank go for it and then drop the knees other side left hand to the sky roll out the wrist and then thread the needle a little bit of a teaser not going to the stretch quite yet inhale up exhale dive it under Inhale up, the last one. This time, find your shoulder stretch. Shoulder to the earth, cheek to the earth. And then if you want, you can kick one foot back or start to walk that right hand above the head with the elbow still reaching up towards the sky.
for breath. Slowly walk your right hand underneath the right shoulder, press into the earth to come up and out of it. Back through tabletop. And then this time we're going to stretch the wrists. So flip one hand back. So fingertips are pointing towards you, palm up. And just bend the elbow slightly, just find a little bit of a stretch. Shake it out, other side. You can rock back with the arm straight or bend the elbow. Out. And now turn the fingertips out. So your fingertips are out to the side and find a couple shoulder circles here. Doesn't have to be big. Other direction. To the center, bring the fingertips all the way back, palms to the earth, and two times cat cow. I know we're doing a bunch of wrist stuff, so just skip whatever you need to. Let those hands flip back around. And this time it's a side bend, so you're crunching towards the right. Shoulder and right hip come closer towards each other. To the center, over to the left. Side crunch. Through the center, okay, to the right. And you can even look over the right shoulder there. To the left, look over the shoulder. Couple more. A little lateral movement for the spine. Through the center and then this time it's that cat pose round but you're going to take your belly up and around like a jump rope i call that the barrel roll of your belly and you can let the head hang as you come up and then as it comes down through center or slight arch other direction up and around with the belly And then child's pose. This time, hands come behind you, grab one wrist. And then switch which wrist you're holding on to. And here, the priority is your breath. So how are you breathing? Slowly release the hands out long in front of you. Walk the hands over to the left, stack the right hand on top, a little bit of a side bend. It'll make sense later why we're doing even more side bending to just to prepare here. Prepare the torso for some shoulder work. And then up and over now to the right hand side of the mat, left hand stack. If you can, let your head hang down. Coming through the center, child's pose. And then if you come to your tabletop, step the right foot forward and grab your strap. You can leave your knee on that blanket. And so you'll just place the strap. You can even, depending how long your strap is, you might even be able to just fold it in half, line it at the top of the mat. Inhale, arms reach up, low lunge. Inhale, 
three times, windmill on, inhale up, exhale around. This time, tuck the back toes, straighten the back leg so it's a high crescent. And then you're gonna dive your heart forward, find that tricep press. Inhale all the way back up. Exhale forward, so you're lowering your torso halfway to the earth, hovering over that thigh, inhale up. Last one, exhale, press palms to the sky. Inhale up, pause here. You can either keep the back leg straight or drop your knee to the earth. Grab that left wrist and find a side bend. Inhale back to the center, two more times, same direction. Power up that back leg or your knee is on the earth. Nothing in between. Inhale up. Exhale, last one. Inhale up. Easy twist. Left hand to the earth this time. You can always use a block under that left hand. Finding your easy twist. And then you're going to drop the back knee as you bring the hands all the way up. Grab your strap. And it's those goalpost arms. If you can let the strap just glide behind the head, go ahead. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straight. So the clasp, the hands are wider than shoulder distance. One thing that sometimes happens here is you don't want to curl forward as you bend the hands, bend the elbows. You want to keep that torso lifted. If your hair buns in the way, that's okay. Inhale up, last one. Inhale up. And now you're going to take your left hand, grab the middle of the strap, reach it up. Bend the elbow. You're finding your tricep stretch on the left side. I'll just mirror you again. So snuggle the elbow in, or you grab behind you to grab the strap. So now I'm going to do more on the left side. So if you're here, you can start to walk your hand up the strap, or if you're able to grab the hands for the bind, go ahead. And again, what's happening with the front body? Can you lift your belly? Can you get that hip flexor stretch by squeezing your left glute? Couple more breaths here. If it's too much for the wrist, just snuggle that elbow in close using the right hand. Inhale, left hand reaches up to the sky. Exhale, replace the strap back to the mat. And we'll step it forward, Uttanasana. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold, grab the opposite elbows, find your ragdoll. Generous bend of the knees here. Come through the center, shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Now interlace the fingers and just let the hands rest at the base of the skull so you're not pulling on your head. It's a very gentle traction. And the knees are bent so there's no tugging on the low back. There's no such thing as bending your knees too much here, so don't be shy. Hands to the earth, halfway lift. Step the right foot back. Option to drop that knee, low lunge. Come all the way up. And then find those windmill arms, big circles. Yep, grab that right wrist, side bend. Wait, I think I missed something. Reach up, 
uh, we're gonna tuck the back toes. Straighten the back leg high, Carson. There we go. And now grab the right wrist for the side bend. Inhale up. Exhale over. Inhale up. Legs stay steady, find that side bend. Inhale up and then find your easy twist, right hand to the earth, option to grab the block. So you're twisting towards the left. Drop the back knee, low lunge, inhale, come up. Grab the strap. Hands are a little bit wider than shoulder distance. Reach them up overhead. Exhale, goal post arms. Inhale up. Follow your breath, exhale. This time, take your right hand in the center of the strap. Reach it up, bend at the elbow. So you can even just hang out here with that left arm, just left hand reaching up and snuggling it in. Or you're starting to reach that other hand up the strap working towards the bind. Tricep stretch. Inhale. Inhale, reach that right hand towards the sky. Place the strap back to the top of the mat. Arms reach up. Exhale, step it forward. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. This time, take a block under the left hand. Hope I didn't forget anything. Famous last words. Okay. You're twisting towards your right. Option to bend that left knee. Roll out the wrist. And then find your half bind. Wrap that right arm all the way around and grab in front of the left um, hip. You can even grab onto your pants there. Is it possible to keep equal weight for both feet? Maybe even come forward into the block a little bit more. Inhale, right hand towards the sky. Exhale through the center, bend everything. Halfway lift, ripple out through the spine, legs can stay bent. And then let's take a chair pose just to reset here. Oh, I know what we forgot. We forgot the, um, the, the neck traction. We'll do it after the twist. Exhale, fold, halfway lift, right hand onto the block, twist towards the left, bend the right knee, roll out that wrist, and then find your half bind here. Press the feet, bring your weight into that hand on the block. Unwind, inhale, exhale, bend everything back through the center, halfway lift. One last time, chair pose. Imagine the block is between the knees and lift your belly. Forward fold. Halfway lift, interlace the fingers, and just let your, let your hands rest at the back of the skull, base of the skull, 
So the buck fits it all. And your knees are bent so much that it's creating that shelf on the thighs to carry your torso here. Torso touching the thighs. Hands to the earth, shake your head yes, shake it no, and then slowly step it back, downward dog. And then here, shake your head yes, shake your head no. Child pose, put the palms up. Option to grab the blocks again and take that reverse prayer. So you walk your elbows forward on the blocks. And then find that stretch for the shoulders, palms up towards the sky or resting at the back of your neck. Last breath. Slowly come off the blocks, move them out of the way. And then you're going to step that left foot forward, warrior two. So gaze over the front hand, that left hand, and then you'll turn your gaze forward. Give yourself a hug. So it's like eagle arms. And then you'll find a circle with the torso. Warrior two legs. Other direction. So it's a lot of work for the legs to stay still as you move the torso. Power up those legs. Inhale up. Warrior two arms. Flip the front palm, reach it straight up towards the sky. Bend the elbow, find that tricep stretch, and then option to add the reverse. Inhale up, warrior two, reverse the warrior. And as you bring your hands to the earth, can you walk that left foot out towards lizard? So the hands are coming inside the leg here. Staying here for long, just find your lizard external hip stretch. Okay, walk that left foot parallel again. Come up high crescent. And you'll take your fist packet low back, bend at the elbows, but draw the elbows back here. Rock the knee. I hope I'm going to remember this on the other side. Arms reach up. So in your low lunge, option to bring that right hand back. So you're reversing it here. All the way back up, downward dog. If you want the vinyasa, go ahead and take it. And when you're ready, right foot steps, warrior two. Find your gaze, find your drishti, sit into your pose. Take your gaze over towards the left and then find the hug or your eagle arms and then add on the torso up and around in a circle. Other direction. And back through the center, open up your arms, 
flip the front palm, reach straight up towards the sky, bend the elbow, find that tricep stretch, pause here or reverse the warrior. Inhale up, warrior two arms, reverse the warrior here. Inhale up. As you bring your hands to the earth, start to walk that right foot over. So you're coming to your lizard, hands inside the leg. Not staying here for long, just finding that external rotation for the right hip. Let gravity draw your hips to the earth. And then slowly walk that right foot parallel. Find your high crescent. Find the fist packet, draw the elbows back. If it's available, a baby back bend in the upper torso. Drop the back knee, inhale, lift up. Left hand to left ankle, reverse it. Or you can just reach that right hand towards the sky. Left hand to the hip. Inhale, come all the way back up. Hands to the earth. Downward dog or vinyasa. If you want to follow me, drop the knees. Two times half chaturanga. Baby push up. High plank to downward dog. And left foot steps forward, turn towards the right, cross the reta. Again, a little bit of your hamstring stretch here. And then grab your block. So similar to what we did earlier, find some lift through the torso. Bring the block right in front of your chest. Left hand onto the block. I guess I'll mirror you here and then find your twist towards the right. Roll out the wrist. Can you keep the hips level? Pause here or option to take the half bind, hang out there or take your left hand to the right ankle. Continue to spread your heels on the mat. You bring your center of gravity forward. That'll help to turn on the legs. Inhale, right hand to the sky, through the center. Bend everything, bend the knees a little bit, hands to the hips, halfway lift. Other side, right hand to the block, twist towards your left. Half bind. And if the half bind's not available, just rest your hand on your sacrum. Option to take right hand to the left ankle or keep it on the block. Keep those heels pressing apart. There is your breath. Inhale, release that half bind. Through the center, bend everything. Hands to the hips, ripple out. And then just find your stretch. Option to bring the legs wider now. And if your head touches the top of the earth or onto the block, you can do that. Can you keep a 90 degree angle in the elbows as you start to walk the hands back? Slowly start to walk the torso up, walk the feet in slightly. You'll pivot around towards the top of the mat and you bring your block back up there. You are coming to child's pose. 
Just like we did earlier, grab onto one wrist. If you want to take a block under the forehead, you can do that. And then switching which wrist you are clasping. Let the elbows hang towards the earth here. Okay, last standing pose here. You're going to take your downward dog, find the long spine, step your right foot forward, grab both blocks, and then start to twist and pivot all the way to the back of the mat. You're in your pyramid with the back heel up. So find that stretch for the left hamstring. Now, spin the back foot down, traditional pyramid, option to grab opposite elbows and fold. You can always use the strap or grab a wrist, whatever it is that you can hold on to. Slowly release the arms, halfway lift, grab the blocks and you're pivoting all the way back around top of the mat. So now it's the right leg leading, back heel up, pyramid variation. Keep the spine as long as possible, even if you need to use the blocks to lift yourself up away from the earth. And spin the back foot down 45 degree angle, opposite elbows and fold. Slowly release the hands, halfway lift. Blocks out of the way, downward dog, last one. You can walk it out, bend it one knee and then the other, or if you want a windshield wiper the heels, a little bit of a twist in the lower body. Drop the knees, child's pose. As you start to sit all the way up and we're going to prepare for supported back bend. So if you have the um, pranayama cushion, you can use that. If you have a foam roller, you can use that with a blanket over, or you can just stack or line up two blocks. The cushion of the blanket. And so you're taking that support behind the upper spine. We'll keep the knees bent so the feet can come wide with the knees together. Inhale, arms reach up towards the sky. Find those goalpost arms. So elbows reach down. Inhale towards the sky. Exhale, elbows to the earth. Inhale up. This shouldn't be causing any discomfort or tugging on the low back. If so, you need less of a back bend. So you can just roll up your towel or your blanket really tightly, and that'll just give a little bit of space there for the shoulders to drop back a little lower than the spine. So your head is supported, your spine is supported between the shoulder blades. Inhale, hands to the sky, and this time one arm up, one arm down. So you're scissoring the arms.
Are you breathing? Slow everything down. Now, hands to the sky. Remember what we did at the beginning of class? We're going to do that where we're reaching the gliding the shoulder blades, reach the hands up, and then now let your shoulder blades melt towards the earth up against your support. Inhale. So arms stay straight, but find that movement, that gliding behind the shoulder blade. Couple more. Inhale, reach, exhale, settle, snuggle. You might even get a little bit of a massage on that inside portion of the shoulder blade. Last one. And now give yourself a hug. And rather than um, finding too much of a contraction here, can you actually let things go a little limp? So you're going to let your shoulders crunch up towards the ears and just fall in towards you. Let your breath come down into the belly. Three times, roll out the wrist. Three, two, one. Inhale, arms to a T. Exhale, other elbow on top. Give yourself a hug and then let the arms just melt into you. Relax all the muscles around the shoulders. And then roll out your wrists. Three, two, one. Arms to a T. And then exhale, snuggle the elbows in slightly with the palms up. And we'll pause here for a couple breaths. Relax your neck, relax your throat. If you want to lengthen out the legs here, go ahead. Slowly, we're going to come up and set up for one last shape as your Shavasana. If there's something else that's calling to you, please feel free. And so two options. You can take uh, blocks under the knees for a Supta Baddha Konasana, or you can take a supported back bend. I'm going to show the Supta Baddha Konasana. Blocks come under the legs. And then opposite elbows, let your arms just rest up behind you. If your arms don't rest easily on the earth, take a little support, take your rolled up blanket and put it up over your head so that you're not taking, you're not letting the arms just float in space. You're letting the arms rest on something. And if you want that supported back bend, that means you already know how to do it. There is an option if you're feeling extra limber today and wanting a deeper back bend after you settle with the top block on the higher setting, you can go ahead and reach up and back and turn that top block to the medium setting only if it feels right and just really allow the shoulder blades to fall up and over that block.
you would like an extended Shavasana, go ahead and turn your video off and you'll close off on your own. Otherwise, we're staying for about three to five more breaths. No need to count. I'll let you know when it's time to come up. Before you come up, come up out of your shape. Opportunity for a couple deeper breaths. Letting everything come back on board here. Finding yourself all the way back to your intention. Slowly roll onto your side or keep the eyes closed. Start to come up, but let your head hang down. As you slowly make your way back up to a center, option to take Anjali Mudra prayer hands with the thumbs, rest, thumbs resting at the forehead center. Before we seal it off, let the hands rest in the lap and take three shoulder circles. Finding that freedom through the upper torso, that ability to create freedom for yourself so you can show up with an open heart as you move through the rest of your day. I lead with love. Thank you.